Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Tammy, and to my returning subscribers and viewers, welcome guys. Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. So as you can see, or as you kind of saw, I'm doing an unboxing of pretty much, <laughs> what do you call it? Quarantine shopping, which is like, how do I put it? There's so many brands out there that are going, that are having sales, like serious sales. Like Uoma Beauty had a new anniversary sale. Like almost everything on the website was 80% off. 80% off. I couldn't believe it. So that's part of what I'm going to be doing an unboxing on. As you guys already kind of see from the title, it's me pretty much doing a haul of all the makeup that I've been kind of buying and collecting. But I've stopped this and I had to wait for them all to kind of get come in as far as uh, in the mail and everything and I figured let me collect them all then show you guys all the stuff that I sh probably actually I should have bought them because my channel is all about makeup as well why not and don't judge me okay and I'm really loving the fact that I can wear my hair and it's easy for me to kind of comb through so I'm just gonna uh, go through all the stuff that I bought and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it so I'm going to start with Shop Miss A Shop Miss A is I don't they never go on sale so they always have um, everything is always a dollar but I was sort of um, looking through the website and kind of picked up a few things that I just wanted to add to my collection of Shop Miss A makeup and I actually did a video it's like a small little unboxing video on my IG so if you don't follow me on um, Instagram please do I would love for you to um, follow me maybe I'll start doing looks you know and then be posting the look and then you guys will see the video of how I created the look on YouTube so that way there's like cons consistency going on on those platforms because it's not easy to be consistent on all social media I mean you kind of pick one and focus on it and do good on it and then you move on and move move the, up the ladder I guess so for me right now I've kind of focused a lot more on YouTube and a little bit on Instagram and I'm trying my best to kind of juggle both as well as everything else that comes with all that stuff but let me just this is not this is pretty much what's left over in this bag I ordered some wipes not wipes from some masks those are in the refrigerator so you guys probably if you want to see what max masks that I bought then you should go to my um, Instagram um, I think it's the Instagram TV or whatever it should be there you see the mask but everything else I think I don't think I went back in in here to get anything else to use I purposely did not touch any of my makeup yet because I wanted to do an unboxing of it and then probably create first impression videos on um, each one of them or whatever combination that I come up with so let me just go through this quickly so I have this uh, AOA Studio 6 pack comfortable easy to apply lightweight eyelashes this is the Luella brand it's pretty cute I like I like it and then I have the Moochie Wonder Blender this is a dollar 88 um, you can never go wrong with more than enough beauty blenders. So this is latex free. You see that? There you go. Yeah, I it is an eyelash applicator that I really I need another one of this. I only have one, so I figured let me pick one up since um what do you call it? Um AOA has one or Shop Miss A has one. And then we have the AOA Pro Wear Full Coverage Foundation. This is in walnut. <laughs> this is gonna be I'm gonna try to make this video not very long, but we need that watch hour, okay? <laughs> there we go. Ooh, I think this is too dark for me, but I could use this as a contour. Oh, this would be a contour, liquid contour. Now, I remember in, one, in my last Shop Miss Hay video, I was saying that you could read the reviews and you would get more information on you know what the sh what shade works for you or whatnot but not quite you kind of have to it's a hit or, hit or miss type of situation with shot miss a because sometimes the even the descriptions are not very accurate enough for you to go by you just sort of use your own it's like a guessing game which is a good it's not too bad because everything is really a dollar there and it's not that 
expensive so that's okay but at least I know that I don't have to I, I could use this for like contouring and stuff like that so that's not bad then I have a super strip lash adhesive in the black shade I, I have something similar to this it's in the kiss brand but I figured might not try the one from the dollar, dollar store technically or from shop miss a see if it works then I have a medium to full coverage liquid concealer it's non-drying creamy long wearing I'm going to open this correct imperfection in dark circles soft tan this color is called soft tan it's written on the back of it too so we'll see how soft this tan is <laughs> Ooh, look at that I just it's a bit it's very bright it's very bright yeah it's too bright all right so the other last three items because there's nothing else left in here is this con i remember if you remember one of my last video my yeah my shop miss a video i had something similar to this which is the it's a contour stick now i got a, the darkest shade that they have available the other one i believe was walnut this is earth in the shade earth so now i already have like a liquid contour and this is supposed to be a stick contour and <laughs> i hope this one that other one can be used for under eye you know coverage oh wow that's damn. okay that's a good one this would definitely be a good contour this is a pow lighter pore lighter it's a highlighter so this auburn Ooh, that's a pretty shade. I'm gonna swatch this a bit. Hmm. It's a nice pink, mar marvy pink shade. So I got myself this on Amazon. This is not, I mean, I guess it's kind of makeup related, but it's a fan. It's a, it's a tripole W10 fan. So this is a, this has a stand and you can take this off or I think it's supposed to be a non-skid. I'm not sure yet. I'm not gonna take it off yet, but it's supposed to sit like this and you take out the fan. Comes already bat battery powered because it's rechargeable and you can recharge charge it on the corner here, turn it on here. So right now if I'm even hot, I could just turn it on. This is lowest. Can you hear that? This is lowest. That's medium. And that's highest and off so this feels nice this looks good and that it comes in uh, with a charger and I guess you can oh yeah so this there's a hole in here where you put it in through and loop it so you can it's like a lanyard and you can carry it along with wherever you want to go pretty cool the light comes on here I guess for you to know that it's fully charged I think so I'm gonna turn that off because I'm not actually hot at all. A little bit cold, <laughs> but this is really cool and comes in really handy. If you are maybe shooting and you get hot, pause the video, blow yourself a bit, and <laughs> keep, re keep recording, <laughs> I don't know. But it's usually for you to dry down your concealer and whatever, or even your um, finishing spray, yeah. So I have lip glosses. So these are my NYX, my favorite NYX shade. I'm actually wearing one right now. The lip color that I'm wearing right now is by is uh, NYX in Praline. So these are all butter gloss lip color. So here we go. All right. So that's um that's the shade. Those are my favorite shades that I like to wear. I'm going to try more brands, but I mean I'm I'm trying not to be a product junkie. I think I'm already a one because bruh you can't help it sometimes all right moving along the can't stop one stop full coverage foundation i got that and in the shade warm mahogany okay i'm gonna i'm gonna guess that this is my shade because after it oxidizes it should be a bit darker i don't know but i want to say i hope this will be the right shade for me because it looks like it's gonna be too light for me next is my milani make it last setting spray and this is the nyx professional makeup wonder stick it's a highlighter and a contour stick in the shade deep 
Now that I have the foundation and it's dried up, you see that? I think it might work for me. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna put the contour next to it. You see that? That is a big no-no. But I guess if we play with it, you could work with it in a way. Moving on, this is the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer Hydrating Silicone Free Primer. So this is the mini. It's supposed to be the travel size. And, oh, it's a bit, it's not runny, but it's not thick, thick like that. It has like a, a nice consistency. Let me stop dropping stuff. See that? It feels nice. Hydrate immediately and over, over time. I like that. So if you, oh yeah, okay. And now it has a tacky feeling to it. Okay, wow, okay. I see. It still has a bit of a glow, but now it leaves like a tacky feeling. Okay, I think you all know the whole Laura Mercier translucent powder. Like I was saying, this is the translucent medium deep. And the black radiance, I think in, uh, I want to say deep, maybe warm deep, I don't know. It's also a very good brand and it's affordable if you can get your hand on this. I've been wanting my hand to get my hands on this <sighs> Patricia Bright uh, Makeup Revolution London Rich in Life. And the eyeshadow palette is a total of 28 palettes. The Rich in Color one has more of a bold, bolder colors. The Rich in Life though has more of a neutral but some bold colors in it and that's what it looks like i'm sure you guys have seen this and the, the it has it comes with a mirror and i'm sure you guys have seen this on a lot of people's channel i guess I and mean, even to patricia brights and the camera is really not doing it any justice but it is very bright and vibrant as far as the yellow goes the pink the blue the green those are really nice a bright it's brighter in, in real life uh, i learned from the tall black chick yeah that chick <laughs> that's so funny that chick that chick knows her stuff she knows her stuff about makeup and if you really want to learn more about makeup you should watch her channel watch her videos on i'm sure she probably has a playlist of tutorials and stuff on how to do so many things and explaining things now moving along so i had to pick out of all the you know the shades that might work for me because I really Juvia's Place doesn't have a shade finder for the for the um, foundation sticks. These are the multi-purpose foundation sticks. So I got me the Benin, Namibia, and Cameroon swatch for you, so you guys can see if you decide on getting one, you at least can distinguish between these three shades, which is Benin, uh, Benin Namibia, Cameroon, and I'm going to start with Benin. This is what Benin looks like. It looks light on camera, but it's not also, it doesn't, it's not as dark as it is on camera. In real life, it's not that dark either, but it's dark enough right here. All right, this is Namibia. Namibia looks very similar to Benin, very, very similar. That would be, this is Namibia in the middle right there. That looks almost exactly as my the back of my hand. Do you guys agree? Wow. Okay. Then we have Cameroon. And this is Cameroon. It's I don't even know if it's lighter or not, but it looks like it is, but it's not. There we go. That's it. That's Cameroon. This is Namibia. And this is Benin. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. But anyways, I got some of the Heroin Glow 1 and Heroin, hello, <laughs> Heroin, not Heroin as in the drug, but like a hero woman, a feminine heroine. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but you get what I'm trying to say. I have the Glow 1 and Glow 2, and then I also have um, Bella and Serafina blushes by the Afrique Blush by Juvia's Place. This is the Bella. Ooh, that's a beautiful shade. And then this is Serafina. Serafina is a very light pink. Very light pink. Oop, the thing just fell off. But that's that shade. Then we have the Heroine Glow 1. This is the Hero Heroine. And that's the shade. It's a very gold, gold colored shade. Yep, that's the shade right there. 
Oh, this is pretty. Mm, this is the, the heroin gold uh, um, baked highlighter. The, the heroin baked highlighter in uh, two. And it's a rose gold shade. Moving on. This is the Nubian by Juvia Place. I love this shade. So pretty. Ooh. Now these are my go-to shades. I've used this color, this shade, obviously. I've used it just maybe once or twice. I'm pretty sure 90% of you guys have all of this in your stashes, but I don't have them and that's why I bought them because I love makeup and I love and they were on sale, like mad sale. And then I used Ohima Bonsu's or Fumi. You can also use Fumi as uh, at the checkout code to get discount, uh, like maybe 10% off as well, even on top of the sale that was going on. So these are all the palettes and these. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway because I accidentally bought two of this. This is the Nubian Saharan 2 and the Nubian 2. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. Once I get to 2,000 subscribers maybe, or when I get monetized, one or the other, hopefully soon. And this will just be sitting in one of these boxes in my closet until I get to that. Um, Cause currently I'm at 1,800 subscribers and I really do appreciate all 1,800 of you guys. And once I get to 2,000, I will be doing this, um, a giveaway. Now, if, it's gonna, if the giveaway is gonna be international, I doubt it because right now the Rona, you know, Y'all know about the Rona. So it's probably most likely gonna be available. I mean, the giveaway is only gonna be for those living in the United States so that I can easily ship it out to them. Um, but yeah, if you wanna win this right here, make sure you are subscribed, make sure you're following me on Instagram and the rules and all that stuff will be announced when I actually do hit 2K subscribers and get monetized. So, and if, depending on how long that takes, if it's taking longer, I'll just continue adding more stuff to the um, giveaway. Meaning, hopefully it's not going to be long, but if it does take long, I'll keep adding some maybe makeup stuff that I maybe don't want to use any or don't open and just want to get rid of it. I'll just add it to the package of the giveaway. So whoever wins it, We'll be getting this too, for sure, and whatever else surprise that you find in it. So let's get me to 2K and higher, obviously. I don't want to just be stuck at 2K subscribers. And also, you know, um, go past my watch hour, which is, you know, all the whole rules with, you know, with um, YouTube and all that. So at this point, I just want to give it away because I have an extra one and incentive of that is to at least get me monetized how about that so just keep watching my videos any of my videos i'm gonna talk about it i don't know what which video it is because obviously i don't know when i will hit 2k and get monetized but when i do you definitely hear of it in any of my future videos god willing so keep an eye out for that i even kept a box that i'll use to ship it out so that box is gonna be kind of like a box like this where i'm just gonna add more stuff to it to um mail stuff out in now for example like maybe this um other heroin one glow i might just throw that in there you know you're gonna get a, a nice um collection of stuff you know so let's just move it along like i was saying this is the saharan blush palette i i have used this like not a lot but i've used it for sure my favorite shade right now this two shades so this is the Afrique by Juvia's Place. I know some of you have this palette already, but who doesn't like a nice looking, brand new, whew, yummy looking <laughs> palette. Ooh, it looks so good. And this is the Warrior 3. Ooh, <gasps> look at that. Bam, bam, bam. That's a pretty purple. It's a nice game. So this one looks like it's gonna be an across the board type of look. Moving along to Warrior 2. Oh yeah, oh, look at that. Looks like pan, nice chocolate. Ooh, I love that chocolate brown in the middle there. Imagine creating a look with this. This is the Warrior palette. That is a beautiful 
combination of browns and nudes. I love it. Ooh. The next one is the Saharan 2. So this is part of the ones that I'll be giving away. Okay, okay, so the, the plastic is already up. <gasps> Look at that. Ooh, that's a pretty shade. The next one is, and this is the Nubian 2. Ooh, look at that blue popping and that brown in the corner right there. The shimmer brown. That's a nice blue. Oh, that's a, those are pretty. Oh, I love Egypt. Look at Egypt. Whoa, this is Egypt. That is a beautiful green-ish shade. This is the last palette from the Juvia's Place palette that I have. And this is the Wahala, which is the drama. I posted like just showing you this without opening it. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it on the Julius Place website, IG page, all that. But you're going to see it again <laughs> on my channel and probably on Instagram as well. Wow. If you think, look at the color scheme again. If you wanted to create a look, just be, you know, and you're not a pro like me follow this pa this pattern just keep going down using those um color scheme to create looks so there are there are glitter palettes in here there are matte palettes in here there um there are metallic palettes in here so 20 total 20 eyeshadow um palettes here i'm gonna move on to Oma, um hall she had a 80% off so it comes wrapped up in like a um, bubble wrap it's so well put together honestly I'm impressed by the packaging this is the say what weightless soft matte hydrating foundation it's an adjustable coverage for medium coverage use sparsely for full coverage use generously for extreme coverage apply multiple layers paraben free talc free cruelty free vegan 99% found a perfect shade match and 95% said it's second skin or lightweight okay brown sugar and this is apparently TW uh, T2W which is like warm undertone in a way neutral to warm undertone I think my only thing is I had opened this and shook it right and for some reason oh look at that see that everywhere in my bathroom when i was trying to show my friend so now that i did it again just to make sure that it wasn't my fault feels like it's too watery coming out very very watery and i haven't even used this this is my first time look at that very water Ooh. do you see how it's is that supposed to be like that it's very runny Ooh. very runny I don't think it's supposed to be like that because um, foundation shouldn't be this watery it shouldn't be this watery but it is and I'm kind of scared to try putting this on because if it's this watery I mean, how do I apply this on my face without it um, wasting it and also making a mess of it? But I will say for sure though that it looks like it might be my skin tone because, okay, so I kind of want, I didn't want it to keep going, getting watery. So I, I rubbed it at the edges so it's not continue, it's continuously water, getting watery. So this is me, this is this part here that I blended out into the back of my hand. And then this is it not um, blended out. And it to me it looks like it might be my shade in a way. If I maybe after it um, oxidizes a bit. So as you can see, it's still moving. See right there, it's still moving. Anyway, so I'm gonna leave that on for now. And move on to the next one. But it's very watery. Just keep that in mind, guys. I don't know if that's how supposed to be and I don't think sh sh if you shake this be careful don't shake it with the bottle open because when I did that this morning I had to wipe down my whole um, 
bathroom. Like the whole counter needed to be wiped down. So be careful with that. There's a way of lipstick, my lipstick, the, the badass icon matte lipstick. Woo! This is Winnie. Yep, I love the packaging. A badass does not talk about being a badass. True that. So this is Winnie. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that shade. Woo! Oh, baby, 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 baby. That is a beautiful shade. You cannot tell me this is not a beautiful shade. My goodness. I like that. It is so, it's packaged so beautifully. This is a double take sculpt and strobe stick. Stick sculptor. So it's like um, one side is a highlighter and the other side is a contour stick. So that is it. This is a beautiful color. You gotta agree with me. Look at that chocolateness. Perfect for contouring with. And this side is the highlight. You see the amount that you get. Okay, so this is this. Yeah. Oh, I love the richness of that brown. So you guys, this is woke. It's stay woke. Um, discoloration brightening concealer. It's also brown sugar on top, written on the top. T2. Maybe the GBS place has a contender now because I like this application tip too. That is the concealer in brown sugar. And this is my gel blowout volumizing gel pomade. This is in the shade six, number six. That's what it looks like. It's pretty dark. And the last item in the Uoma haul is this. Look at that pattern. So cool. The Black Magic Color Palette in Savage. I guess on the back of it, it gives you a definition of what Savage is and it says fierce and uncontrolled is an adjective cool and here we go boom 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 oh there's a mirror there's a mirror look at that goody 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 but it's beautiful whoa i didn't even see what it says down here but it's kind of it says the b word please well-behaved girls seldom make history mm. all right that's their opinion but yeah Whew. This was a long video. I'm sorry that it's so long, but I really wanted to share, share this with you guys. And I really do want to thank you all so, so much for watching this video all the way to this point. I appreciate you guys. And let me know which makeup videos you guys want to see out of all of this palettes that I've brought up, brought out to you guys to show you guys. Um, hopefully more to come, hopefully, but for now, let's work with what we have right now and just um, go move along from that. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and as well as you can share it as well, if you'd like, share it. And also make sure to subscribe to this channel because my goal is to just continue growing and also continue sharing what my love for makeup, fashion, vlogs, whatever it is that I I'm interested in and that I'm interested and I love sharing and also whatever it is that you guys um, request from me that I'm able to um, offer you guys so continue to stay blessed and stay safe wash your hands be well and I will see you on my next one don't forget to subscribe please continue to stay subscribed also turn on the bell notification because a lot of people because I guess people are not working in the building of Google it's mostly all controlled by the system or the computer. So computers makes mistake because it's made by humans. So keep the um, bell notification turned on. So when I upload a new video, you will be notified, you know, as quickly as the system does it. Because even with that, I've heard that not everyone still gets notified. Like maybe out of 100% of all your, all the people that are um, subscribed to your channel, I, I want to say only 20% of them actually get notified of um, new videos that of people that you've subscribed to so just you know hopefully you'll be one of those 20% and hopefully Google will change their how they do their thing um, you will get notified when I upload new videos so thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in my next one stay blessed stay safe wash your hands